Nigerians are doing great things all over the world. Your best doctors are Nigerians, your best lecturers are Nigerians. There's no way you will not find a Nigerian contributing and doing very well. But we don't even hear much about that. We don't even know anything about it. So let's get to know them. Let's get to know that, you know what, that man excelling there is a Nigerian. We are here in Detroit, Michigan to meet a certain young man called Jelani Aliyu. Jelani Aliyu is a senior creative designer at the General Motors and he was a lead creative designer for the Chevrolet Ford concept. And guess what? Mr. Aliyu is a Nigerian and he's right here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Aliyu. Nice to meet you too. What's going on? Let's go for a ride. An automobile designer is, a, is an individual who comes up with uh, transportation solutions. For example, I would look at uh, the problems being faced by a society or a group of people or a nation and then come up with uh, a suitable solution to their transportation needs. My name is Dr. Anu Iswale, DDS. I'm the project director for the Community Dentistry and Wheels. So this is the van we've been talking about? Yes, it's a mobile clinic that goes around to represent the underserved and underrepresented in the community. Council Man Kiriyan Wago, the first African-born elected official in the state of Michigan. That's the man I'm looking for. My pleasure, Mr. Thank you. As a council person, uh, the whole city is, depends on us um, to, to make sure that it's a good place to live. Do this every year or every month? How often do you do it? Every year. Every year. Once every year. So this is an annual event. Mm. My name is Sylvester Okichiku Okere. I am the president and CEO of Watchman Protective Services. We are a private uh, security industry. We provide physical security guard services armed unarmed. During the inauguration, we also participated in some strategic areas in the security uh, President Obama. The progress is about taking one step forward, which we are. Our greatest asset as a nation is our human resources. And we're not doing enough of tapping into those enormous human resources. And we need to. I'm not saying that all Nigerians are saints, but the majority of Nigerians are doing some great things. They should report that. The concept of this is to have this reach the underserved. Since the population can't come to the dentist or to the practitioner, we can go to them. Media is so powerful, but since we don't have a way of telling our stories, you know, it's difficult. But I'm sure, you know, if by the grace of God, you know, your project is given a fair chance, uh, all Nigerians that you are yet to meet and the one that you have met uh, will be able to tell the story from this positive lens. They were drug dependent, hopeless and often homeless. Love Rehabilitation Center took them in, gave them hope and more than just a home. Хорошо, ребята, у нас сейчас веселый старт. Как ваша команда называется? Ребята, как ваша команда называется? Мы команда Поплавок, нам всегда поможет Бог. Love Rehabilitation Center is a vibrant social arm of the Embassy of God Church and is home to over 200 drug-dependent persons from more than six countries. Once, they punctured their skins with the arrows of death. But now, the sword of the Spirit is piercing their souls. Over 1,000 addicts have passed through the Love Center and have since been reintroduced into the society as liberated, happy, and Jesus-dependent people. In 1997, 
The Embassy of God Church set up the Hatuf Orphanage Home to confront the monumental eyesore of street and abandoned children, especially in the city of Kiev, Ukraine. Kids are randomly picked from the streets and sometimes from very odd locations, often wounded and battered. They are then provided with emergency health care, food, shelter, clothing, and most of all, the warmth and love they couldn't get from their shattered homes and uncaring society. Dozens of kids have already passed through this home and are either reunited with their parents or somehow, somewhere, pursuing a lifetime dream. Dozens more are currently receiving the love of Jesus Christ in a way they never imagined possible. In order that just about every sphere of her society is rich with the love of Jesus Christ, the Embassy of God Church also runs a soup kitchen that not only feeds but also clothes thousands of street-bound adults daily. You hardly ever know they are from the streets. Their medical as well as spiritual needs are also met at Stefania Soup Kitchen, all at no cost. To Africa now, and at least 21 people have been confirmed dead and dozens more injured after a passenger plane crashed into a market in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. It's been two days since the crash, and AirServe has yet to be called for a medevac. Meanwhile, 108 burn victims await treatment in the ill-equipped Goma Hospital. The last update was uh, 27. 27 dead as of last night? Yeah. AirServe pilots Dawson Tanner and Rob Morgan return to the Barrera market. The rescue effort has been abandoned for a recovery effort. The National Red Cross collects the personal effects of lost passengers as proof of more fatalities. The forward section of the airplane, the cockpit, see where they popped this window open or maybe they came out this way. Dawson and Rob look for clues as to what went wrong. There's the flight engineer's oxygen mask, the quick donner. Here comes one of our guys. Greg's coming back. The drivers are telling us we're going to get hijacked. They're going to kill us and take everything. They were saying that uh, the United Nations was uh, worried about our safety, so they're bringing their chief to um, try to get our, an armored vehicle to escort us into Port Troy. She needed immediate emergency treatment. Her potassium level was like very fatal. She could cold. I saw a woman that was trapped for four days, and one of her children was one child was crushed. We unwrapped his hand, and two of his digits were basically partially amputated at the epidistal part. Seven days she haven't been eating. Okay. Mass amount of supplies that has been sent down from all over the world. Where is it? Because it's not reaching these villages. Is this a reasonably safe neighborhood? I'm looking at the cracks and all these cinder yeah. blocks and stuff. No, I don't know how, yeah. I don't know how structurally no, sound no, is. No, okay. no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, was, it was just overwhelming. We don't see this as something that we're doing to them or for them, but it's something that we're doing for ourselves as well. You guys are spirit back. I think you guys going on trips like this is a true expression of of love for the people, for each other, the patients that you saw, it was with dignity and respect, and uh, you gave your best, so thanks. We survive another day. <laughs>